You want to save even more time on site and profit of the full remote commissioning? Great! In this video, we will show you how it works. There is no app required, only Ethernet connection. So let's go! After the installation of the inverter, the only required step for the commissioning is the connection via the Ethernet cable. Simply unscrew the swivel nut from the Ynet S and thread the network cable through it. Insert the RJ45 plug into the plug connector until you hear a click. Screw everything together and plug the device in. You don't even need the iSolar Cloud app while being on site. You can do the commissioning fully remotely with the iSolar Cloud web portal. Log in to your account on iSolarCloud.com. Click on the plus button on the top right corner to create a new plant. Choose your plant name and plant type and fill in the rest of your plant data like installed power in kilowatt peak, country or region, grid connection type and date. You can also upload a plant image. Enter the location of the plant by filling out the plant address field. Fill in the plant owner's email address. The owner will get an email notification that the plant has been created. He or she will receive a link to create an end user account. Click on Expand to add the feed-in and consumption tariff to calculate the plant revenue. Now you have to add the communication device. Click on Select. Choose the communication device, Ynet S. Add the serial number and click on Add. Alternatively, you can click on Identify QR code and upload the QR code picture that was taken on site. It's also possible to directly drag and drop the picture into the box. Click on Create Plant. Your plant was created successfully and has been paired with the device on site. In the section Device Information, you can check the current working status of the devices. The green lights indicate that the devices are communicating with the server, the plant is online and everything is working properly. If you click on Settings, you can do the full initial grid connection remotely. To do so, click on the checkbox next to the plant name. After that, click on Initial Grid Connection. Choose your country or region and click on Apply Settings. Enter your login password and click on Confirm. Click on Confirm again to send the command. Click on Continue Waiting and wait for the response of the inverter. Now you can fill in more data about your plant, like the installed PV power and other required information like feed-in limitation. Click on Apply Settings and enter your login password again. Click on Confirm. In the task list, you can check the execution status at any time. Now the grid code and parameters have been successfully set and the inverter is ready for operation. The creation of the plant is complete.